Got the, got a bitch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoes is out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now, act like you don't know me now. Let my bitch off the purse, she get a hundred rounds. Hundred rounds, hold me down. Oh my gosh, I think that's Paris. Danielle pulling up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Paris, Paris, Paris. Paris. Can I get a picture? No. Can I get a picture? What the fuck? Come here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Come back. Come back. Come on. Like. We want to see the car. Y'all, what y'all feeling for? It's just a regular Range Rover Volvo 2020. What, what you mean, it? regular? We want to see the. Come what on, let's do it. We want to see a. Oh my God. Yeah, I get out the car. Right. Let me get out. Huh. All right, y'all. So, since y'all feeling, I got something to just have to show y'all a car tour. So, let's get into it. All right, y'all. So, before we get in the car, let me just show y'all. I done went through so much with this with this call. First of all, when it came up to the day that I was supposed to get the call, they didn't have everything downloaded, so I had to get a loaner car and everything like that. If you go to the car dealership and you be dealing with this type of stuff, then you know, like, it'd be a little bit of a lot. All right, so first things first, I just got my rims. My rims are supposed to be all black. At first, they was the regular kind of rims, and I was a little mad about that, but I wanted my rims custom all black. Look how it looks with the all black rims. Then you got the white middle and then you got the black top. It just complements the whole car and puts everything together. So this is probably one of my favorite cars because it's really all about the details. Y'all know everybody be fiending for details. So that was really, really one of my favorite parts. So now let's take a look inside the car. So how you get in? First of all, nobody could come up and rob me. It's Liddy. First of all, nobody. The Hindus don't sit out. You have to, you whoever owns a car, you are only able to unlock this car. So you just tap the button. The handle comes out, the sun comes on the floor. I was feeding for that because my Honda didn't do that. Nothing wrong with a Honda, but I had to upgrade. So, this is how the inside of the car looks. Let me tell you, show y'all a little bit of detail. So, first of all, I got this steering wheel cover from Amazon. Y'all know where to get all of these. This is like every single person in their mother got these. I got this about three years ago. So, I think it runs for like... It shouldn't be no more than $15. I don't see why it would be $15, but I'm going to link the, um, I'm going to put the link down below for everything I'm showing y'all. It's going to be down below if y'all want to go purchase it. So I got this from Amazon and then these lights. Let me show y'all from the back. So basically I got these lights. Ah! Oh, my makeup. <gasps> oh, hey, I got my eyebrow on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh wow Stop <laughs> <laughs> So I got this LED light from um, Amazon as well It's the one that goes in your car obviously But there's different LED lights You got the long LED strip for like your room or something Or your studio something like that I got the one that was specially made for your car So they have four of those with the adhesive on the back So you can stick it I did stick it but I had a few people in my car too So I don't know what really went wrong But basically when you take it out they have the um the plug, you gotta put it into a car charger, so you can either plug it in in the front with your car charger, or the back, either way, which, wherever um, your car charger is, you can turn it on and off. I usually keep mine off, because when I come out the car, the whole thing turns off, so it doesn't really matter. But I got two on each side, so it shows in the front, and it shows in the back, I just stuck it under. And if you tuck the wires real good, you don't have to worry about people like stepping on it or tampering with it and it doesn't take out it doesn't take away from too much of the detail inside the car i also made sure that i got the all black interior because i had cotton seats before and it was giving me hell y'all hell it was giving me hell so i'm happy that i got leather seats as well i got heated seats i don't know if i got heated seats in the back but I know I got heated seats in the front, so I'm going to show y'all that in a second, too. But the all-black interior is definitely one of my favorite um, huh, things about this car. So let's go to the front. From the front, we have... Let me just turn the car on. It's going to make a little bit of noise, so let me show y'all what I got in the car, and then I'll show y'all everything else after. So as a woman, y'all know it's essential we keep certain things in our bag, in our car, and in our room. We just have to keep it on hand, right? So... I gotta re up on snacks because I bought snacks for the car, but I ate it by accident. So when I go back to Walmart, I'm gonna put more snacks. Because sometimes you'll be driving, be thirsty, you need a snack. That's what I got. You need to have some wipes just in case you gotta go pee. You don't got no bathroom. You gotta open your two doors and squat. You got a little bit of wipes. You don't wanna use tissue or break off in your car. Get some wipes. Make sure you keep some wipes. You gotta keep some lotion because I be ashy sometimes, so I gotta make sure I keep some lotion. The, you know, the niggas don't really like the ashy knees, so I gotta make sure I keep a couple of those. I got some regular napkins. Embarrassing. <laughs> so, 
out. <laughs> so, right here. Oh, why is everything embarrassing me? <laughs> so, if you lift up these two different things, and that's, I think it's also cool that it has two different ones. So, if you got somebody sitting here, you don't got to interrupt where they arm is. That's, I don't know. Maybe I'm just so used to seeing that in cars, but that's good. So, I got some masks just in case I might forget it in my bag, or if I forget it in my house, I got some extras in my car. I got an easy pass, which I need to install. I got some blunt spray, because y'all know what blunt spray is for. And this is real strong. If you know, you know. This blunt spray, if you spray too much, you will literally probably pass out. It's real strong. So if you just smoke in the car, you air it out a little bit, and you spray this, you're good. All you need is like, what, a good 10 seconds? You're good. So I got some travel size makeup wipes, just in case I don't have any makeup, and I wind up spending the night out or whatever. I have some makeup wipes, so I don't wind up sleeping in my makeup, which I do anyways. But... I know you're not supposed to, but at least y'all see I'm trying. So this is probably where I would keep my snacks too, just so it's not too much out of the reach. And then I have a few things in a trunk that comes with the Range Rover, but it's not really important unless you watch like a Range Rover Evoke like real full and detailed video, but this is not a car review. I'm just showing y'all my car. So now we're going to press the start and I'm going to show y'all how everything is gonna look so you got the panorama moon rule and it goes all the way back and the difference between a moon roof and a sunroof a moon roof goes all the way back and a sunroof is only from here to here and i made i made sure i wanted the panorama moon roof because i want a whole vibe when you in this car with me okay so this is another thing that was very important for me. I did not want a regular car without a sunroof. Not even a sunroof. I wanted a moonroof. But I'm upgrading it. I'm going to make sure I all the way upgrade. So I had to make sure that this is there. So they have this whole climate control center. And one of the best things about this is you can turn this on. When you turn this one on, you're controlling how high you want the AC or the heat. So you turn it all the way up. You turn it all the way down. If you click it one more time, you can adjust the temperature. And then if you click it another time, you can adjust how warm you want the seats or if you don't want it on at all. And you can do it for both sides. And the good thing is, whoever is sitting in a passenger, say you somebody like me who always cold. I probably have it on like 82 or something. And say they not that um, cold or whatever, so they just want like a little bit of breeze. This um, part of the AC will blow on them and this part of the AC will blow on me without it really conflicting with each other. So I think that's really cool. Also, most of y'all be using it. But this also does come with... Um, CarPlay. My father loves the CarPlay, Apple CarPlay, whatever it's called. So you can adjust it and it do its little do, whatever case maybe. Um, I'm actually using my phone for something, but it does have the Apple CarPlay, the whole dashboard. If you watch a um, Range Rover Evoke video, you will see the whole all in detail. But I just wanted to show y'all my favorite details of the car. So one of my also, another one of my favorite things is you know how you have the rear view mirror. You can see everything behind you, but being that my car is so low in the back, the way it's centered in the back, the way it's set up in the back, you can't really see too much out your rear view mirror so they installed this thing where if you flip this you can see um it actually records let me see if i can turn the brightness up you can see just probably a little bit better but you can see who's behind you you can see them very very clear and it records also so maybe if you get into an accident or something i don't know so i keep this on just to see if people talking about me if i case i cut them off because i drive a little while so i'll be wanting to see what's behind me so you can either have it on this one or you can have it on this one i'm gonna keep it on that one so let me turn it back down because i know when the sunlight show it's gonna be probably a little bit too bright so that's on that other than that, now that y'all saw the inside and the outside details, let's wrap it up. Um, Alright y'all, so now that y'all done seen the whole car and all my favorites and everything, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Me and Philip is about to get out of here, but y'all know I gotta be a little dramatic. So let me get my seatbelt on and let me do my thing. <laughs> Pull up the window. Bye y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all, so let's unlock the door. Oh, embarrassed, run it back. It wasn't supposed to open like that. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's recording? Yeah, I never turned it off. All right, they heard us talking shit. All right, y'all, so now that y'all seen the whole car, I got somewhere to go, and sometimes people be thinking, but I really got somewhere to go. I'm just going to the gas station. So I'm gonna see y'all later, and I hope y'all enjoyed my new car. Bye. <laughs> 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 you body wait i thought she was gonna come in now i was but i was like wait that looked fake because i ain't put on my seatbelt <laughs> i don't want no 
pictures. How am I say I don't want no pictures? <laughs> <laughs> Let me go back. <laughs> Yo, I'm so weak right now. What the? Oh my god, I didn't see you there. How you doing? Hi, welcome to my new car. I'm about to show y'all my new car tour. Y'all know I'm a little dramatic, so I had to skirt in a little bit. But come on, let me show y'all everything my car is like. <laughs> it, was, it was awkward. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> you just do it. I like. I liked how you start. I liked the last one. You was like, I don't want no pictures. That was <laughs> funny to me. But how much I don't want no pictures that I'm on my window down. <laughs> That's what I was saying. <laughs> Body. Okay, like, all right. So let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> you a. You a. Send me. I'm Ooh. feeling it. Your car tour, when you edit it, it's oh, about to be so lady. Be weak when I edit it. Wait, no. Let me pull up inside. The run into the the car like hey, oh my really? god. No. Got a bitch in the city, so don't fuck around. Fuck around. No,